Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate assets from per third person shooter kit to different project. So here's a clean project um, TPS kit. And here I made third person template from Epic from engine default, um, default third person, um, you know, template. And uh, I will migrate assets to this to this project. So let's first go to third person shooter kit, go to project settings. First you need to copy over project settings, some project settings that are important for to make this uh, to make this work. So go to collisions and uh, click export and um, choose it choose to um, desired folder. <coughs> It's a test two folder, then look for input. It's over here, and click export. And uh, yeah, save in the desired folder. And go to physics over here, and go to export, which uh, physics contains the surfaces, and um, go to export and save it okay now go to uh, template third person template go to edit project settings and now go to collision and go to import and look for the collision that you just exported so here collision backup it uh, exported successfully. You don't see it yet. It will um, it will be fine in a moment after restart. Input, same thing. Import, input backup, and physics. Import over here, and physics backup. And um, I think uh, that's it. And uh, let's reopen the project settings and see if it's there. So collision, so there are custom collision here. Uh, there are inputs from uh, from third person shooter kit and uh, physics, physical surfaces. So now you can uh, migrate the assets. And so let's close that. So go to content browser, select third person shooter kit and um, migrate, can you choose migrate or choose the files that you want to migrate. I will migrate everything. Uh, we don't have to save the features map. Yes, all files. And now look to the, pro the project for the project that you want to migrate to. So for me it's test two, uh, TPP template base and save it in uh, content so now it will take a while after this uh, you need to restart the editor so all right when the migration is finished uh, go back to third to third person template and uh, you could go to content browser as, as you can see third person shooter kit Content is here. If you open player base, though, you can see that uh, the collisions are still not applied. So uh, if you go to select the mesh and then go to collisions, as you can see, the custom collisions are still not here. That's why uh, you need to restart the, the project. Okay, after restarting, um, go to uh, go to word settings and change the game mode to uh, TPS game mode. We can also open the BP player base to double check if the collisions are um, upload uh, updated. right So we go again to uh, to mesh and uh, look for collision as as you can see this player mesh. It means it went OK and you have all the custom collisions here. So it was applied fine. 
So after changing the game mode, there we go. We can uh, normally play uh, with the third person shooter character player. And we can do a couple more tests. For example, place item because it's a quite common to that will check if the collisions are um, are, are fine if they're working we can also put uh, AI base somewhere there oh. and I put some give this AI some weapon This is to, um, let's say, I don't know, Burst Rysel, Sci-Fi. This is to uh, test if, if everything is working fine. Let's put the nav mesh. Bones volume over here. So, so you have a nav mesh, so he will work around, walk around. Okay. We can grab the weapon, shoot the, shoot the eye. Okay, looks like it's working. Um, now when we will die, it will show up in zero 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 uh, of the world. As you can see, it does. The reason is that uh, player tries to respawn and uh, there is no checkpoint. So place the checkpoint on somewhere on the level, right? So this, if you go through this checkpoint, player will respawn here with the, on the green spot. But when you start the game, it is not activated yet, obviously, because player spawns somewhere else. And if player will die, then it, this data is not applied but we can quickly fix it open level blueprint add begin play so i have a checkpoint actor related uh, selected get a reference get checkpoint lo location and get rotation checkpoint checkpoint rotation now get player character and cast it to uh, base player and in base player set checkpoint location and checkpoint um, checkpoint rotation and let's take it from the checkpoint itself so on begin play it will be already um, the information where to respawn the player it will be already uh, applied right so um, yeah so we can do it on any level so let's see let's uh, I'll give the AI opportunity to kill me yeah it's still, it's still the shaders are still compiling so PC works slower and uh, as you can see, player is found in the correct location where the checkpoint is. Um, all right, so that will be it. Migration of the of the content. We can double check still on open level and um, look for maps. And all the maps are here. Features map V2. Oh, I didn't have to save. It could be still shaders compiling. Yes. But the level loaded and uh, yeah, after it will compile three more. Just a sec. Okay, let's try to play it. Yeah, shaders are still compiling, of course, but um, yeah, gradually it will 
and get working. But the level is in uh, in your project and it's uh, working fine. Don't worry about the compiling thing. It's uh, just one one time event and uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's completely it's completely normal to compile the shaders. All right, uh, that will be it. So uh, good luck.